Why on earth would you tell a person with an eating disorder to take laxatives? No, I said, this is what I would do. I was empathizing. I thought I was empathizing. But then I found out, hey, you can't say that. It's a very unhealthy. It's a it's a extremely it's and I a think bad we talked thing about it do, after basically. that someone I know very close to me. Uh, listen, I sure. again, I grew up in a dance studio. I mean, yes. So I I know people know. that suffer. That's another form of an eating disorder. Sure. It was al almost just coming from a hey. If that was me, I would do it like this. Well, you did follow it up by saying, "Don't eat the chicken nuggets." Chicken tender and barbecue ranch. You can't have this. It's a chicken tender and a barbecue. Well, that was a little bit later, and of course my smart ass said she can't have this to contender. Yeah, I did it. It was the wrong thing to do. Amanda from Denver said, Crystal, how do you feel about Dorit sharing with... Okay. I was... That was not okay. Really? When I share that information with you... That was private. I'm very particular how I speak about it. I tend not to be very graphic about it. It's very shameful. And when I saw that, it was unacceptable. It was not okay. It felt very gossipy and um, that's so personal. Crystal, you were talking to the entire table about it. Yeah, but and that's it still just, not... There, no, there wait a second. And then, still, I had never mentioned it after that. Never. Until it was brought to my attention that you raised it with the group. Then I thought, okay, I'm not sharing something that is a secret. Okay, well, I'm telling you now, when we speak privately, we can have a much clearer conversation of what's private and what can be shared. But that felt terrible. I'm truly, truly, truly sorry. Thank you.